Today's task is to clean our 2016 Bailey Pursuit 565, as I'm ashamed to say, it is in a shocking state, as I haven't cleaned it in seven months. We've done a thousand miles, visited 15 different sites, and if I took it to a dealer looking as it does now, we would not get the money for it that I need. Luckily, the good folks at Mud Buster Products have sent me some of their wash and wax and some of their glass cleaner, so I'm gonna see how they can cope with the challenges ahead. It's very green, there are black spots, there are black streaks, and also the inserts on the trim have got mold in places, so I'll be seeing what I can do to tackle those. First thing to clean was the roof. Now I'm not great with heights, even a ladder, and the last thing I wanted to do was try and operate a camera and a sponge. If you've ever wondered what your port caravan would look like if you took it to Wales, to Cornwall, and then spent the week at the NEC show with it, this is what can happen. So we have the Mud Buster Caravan and Motorhome Exterior and Interior Wash and Wax. Directions are, pour 100 ml of Mud Buster Cleaner into a standard bucket, fill with cold water, apply with a sponge or a soft brush. For the removal of black stains, use neat or dab with a damp cloth and wipe clean. Uh, this method can also be used for the removal of heavy soiling of algae. Yeah, I'll be needing that. The rubber trim between the panels had gone mouldy in places where I'd left it for so long. But thankfully with a bit of Tesco lemon bleach, not an expensive cleaner by any means, and a brush, all I did was paint a bit on, leave it for as long as it took me to make a cup of tea, and come back and wash it off. All I would suggest you do is please try a small area on your caravan to make sure it works for you and it doesn't cause any damage. Maximum results, minimum effort. I haven't even polished it either. All I've done is wash it and then rinse it with a hose. 